Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Taliban have over 200 aircraft and helicopters from U.S. withdrawal. Also, Estes brings a new Shepard model to market, and Beechcraft Denali completes ground testing. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have a very important story to tell you. According to U.S. Congressman Jim Banks, Taliban have over 200 aircraft and helicopters from U.S. withdrawal. Banks gave details on the situation in a speech earlier this week in Washington and warned that the Taliban now has access to $85 billion worth of American military equipment. Banks was a Navy reservist who served in Afghanistan as well as a foreign military sales officer. The Taliban now has access to $85 billion worth of American military equipment that includes over 75,000 vehicles, over 200 airplanes and helicopters, over 600,000 small arms and light weapons. The Taliban now has more Black Hawk helicopters than 85% of the countries in the world. But they don't just have weapons, he continues. They also have night vision goggles, body armor, medical supplies, and unfathomable to me and so many others is that the Taliban now has biometric devices which have the fingerprints, eye scan, and biographical information of the Afghans who helped us over the past 20 years. The Taliban has wasted no time in showing off their new supplies, taking photos and videos posing with the captured materials. After the break, Piper Pilot 100i receives EASA approval. More news after these messages. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Piper Pilot 100i receives EASA approval. Piper Aircraft has been awarded approval from EASA for the Pilot 100i. The Pilot 100i enters the trainer segment at $298,000 IFR equipped. This milestone certification represents a continuation of Piper's strategy to provide competitively priced products for our global customers. We are eager to bring the Pilot 100i into the European market and provide flight schools with an aggressive priced proven trainer, said John Calgagno, interim president and CEO of Piper. FAA propose hefty fines against interstate helicopters for allegedly illegal operations. The FAA proposed more than $617,000 civil penalty against Oklahoma-based interstate helicopters for allegedly conducting illegal charter flights. The FAA alleges that between September 2016 and April 2017, interstate helicopters conducted approximately 24 paid passenger carrying flights in jet airplanes when it was only authorized to conduct flights in helicopters. The FAA further alleges that the company used unqualified pilots who did not complete required training, testing, and competency checks for the 24 flights. ALPA contributes $200,000 to organizations honoring 9-11 pilots. ALPA is contributing $200,000 to four nonprofit organizations that honor the legacy of the four ALPA pilots who are amongst those who lost their life on September 11, 2001. Captain Jason Dahl, 
and First Officer Leroy Homer Jr. were piloting United Flight 93, and Captain Victor Saracini and First Officer Michael Horrocks were piloting United Flight 175. ALPA contributed $50,000 each for scholarships. A Georgia man is behind bars for pointing lasers at aircraft. A Georgia man was sentenced to 18 months in prison after aiming a laser pointer at an aircraft and pleading guilty. After the sentence is served, Roger Floyd Hendricks, who is 48, will serve three years of supervised release. In February 2020, the FBI and FAA began investigating three incidents that took place separately. The incidents were described as a green laser strikes on airplanes that were heading into Savannah Hilton Head International Airport. One of the pilots involved was able to help them find the origin of the strike. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. You can now launch your own version of the Blue Origin New Shepard with your own mini size model. The Estes New Shepard is a 1 66th scale model of the Blue Origin New Shepard. The model rocket flies to altitude on a C63 or C65 engine with capabilities up to 400 feet. After deploying a capsule, it falls back to Earth with a large parachute. You can fly and deploy this model as many times as you like, and it will be available on the 1st of November. The Estes New Shepard aims to provide the excitement of launch and the feeling of exploring a new frontier to everyone. The collaboration is the first in a series between Estes and Blue Origin Club for the future. The specifications are as follows, with a projected max altitude of 400 feet and a 15-inch parachute as a recovery system. The Estes weighs about 4 ounces. It takes about 10 minutes to assemble and the fin materials are made of plastic. The launch system uses a porta pad to an electron beam launch controllers and additionally four AA batteries are required for use. After these messages, Beechcraft Denali completes ground testing. Details after the break. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Welcome back. Textron has shared the fact that it's completed initial ground engine runs on the prototype Beechcraft Denali single engine turboprop. The aircraft is powered by GE's new Catalyst engine. Functionality of the fuel system and engine has been verified alongside the avionics and electrical systems. The clean sheet design aircraft now moves a step closer to its first flight, which the company looks forward to around the end of the year. The successful engine runs are a significant step towards the upcoming inaugural flight of the Beechcraft Denali, and they are a testament to the determination and collaboration from both the Textron Aviation and GE Aviation teams, said Chris Hearn, Senior Vice President, Engineering. GE Catalyst engine is reportedly more environmentally friendly than older turboprop technologies, burning less fuel as well as being able to use sustainable aviation fuel which outputs lower emissions. The cockpit features the G3000 avionics suite which includes 10-inch weather radar, terrain awareness warning system, and dual transponders. Integrated auto throttle is a standard feature. 
Equipped with Macaulay's new 105 diameter composite five-blade constant speed propeller, the propeller will undergo a series of tests for certification, which are already happening. The Denali has six individual seats that can recline and offer a nine-place seating option. Well, that does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.